Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 2 of Objective-C on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the uh, default program that you get when you create a new Objective-C project in Xcode. So, if anybody's coming from uh, the C tutorials that I already taught in the previous series, uh, this should look pretty familiar to you, and to any other programmers, it should look pretty familiar as well and we have our main function here and we include a few header files and um, if you're already semi-familiar with programming then you might know what's kinda going on here already but just in case you don't I'm here to explain how this entire thing works so to start out we have a pound import directive which is importing the foundation library and the foundation library just imports all the important information that is uh, in basically any of our projects. This NS auto release, this NS log, all this information is in the foundation library. So any important stuff that we're using that makes Objective-C Objective-C uh, is basically found in this Objective-C library. So it is uh, always needs to be imported for pretty much all these tutorials and just leave it there. So also, if you didn't notice, this is pound import, not pound include like it is in C. Pound import is the directive for Objective-C for importing header files. So we'll be always using pound import. Okay, nothing too complicated there. Next, we move on to our int main uh, function. And this is just the function that um, basically the compiler looks for or the program looks for. Uh, it's the first thing that gets run when we run through our program. Simple enough, and we can ignore everything that's basically in this block. All that you have to know is it's the main function. So, and this next part, you might be already freaking out and running around the room because you are scared out of your mind of this uh, one statement. And all I can tell you about this is that we'll definitely learn about this, but it's not really that important to us right now. What I can say is, is that this ba this NS auto release pool, what it is, is basically um, a pool of memory or where you can store objects to get rid of them. And uh, hence, down here you see pool drain. This is basically saying that you're draining all the memory that you put into the pool at some point. That it doesn't really matter right now because we don't even need it. We don't. We aren't using anything in here that needs this NS auto release pool. And Again, all it really means is that we can store some memory sort of inside of it, and then we can tell it to get rid of the memory later on. So what we're going to do right now, though, is just delete it because it's not important, and I will definitely explain later on how it fully works, and by then you probably will almost understand how it works anyway. So um, I'm just going to get rid of the pool drain method right there, and all we have for actual code to focus on is the NS log that's left over. So if you're familiar with C, you already know what the printf function is. Um, another example is system.outprintlin uh, in Java, and that's just a few examples, but basically what the NS log does is it prints out to the console. And if you don't know what the console is, it's what we're going to be working with the entire time we go through these tutorials. It's just up in the run menu and then hit console and here's the magical console. So what NSLog does is it prints out whatever you have as a string of text inside of it and it will print it out to the console. So let's go ahead, build and run this and I'll demonstrate that right now. So let's go ahead, run and the console and as you can see it gives a timestamp every time you use NSLog but here is the important information that it's printing out and that's hello world and that's uh, what NSLog was told to print out, so that's how it works. So one important thing to realize about this is that, um, again, it starts with NS, which is the next step's um, basically prefix for everything that they made, and that uh, this is what pretty much is happening. This is given to, the NS prefix is given to pretty much every function, everything that they made. Uh, while they were working with Objective-C, so that's why the NS is in front of them. Um, uh, the second important thing to realize here is that this is a string of text in Objective-C, and every string of text has a um, at symbol in Objective-C. That means it's an Objective-C string. 
if you take this add out, it becomes a normal C string, which we generally don't want. And we pretty much every time you're going to be working with strings, which are just strings of text in Objective C, you're going to be wanting to say at and then double quotes and then whatever you want to say inside of that. So let's work with NSLog just for a bit here. And you'll notice it works very similar to C as well. And um, all the same functions uh, go along with it. Um, so let's just do an example. Um, my name, or let's do something simpler. Um, let's see, my house number is, and then if you have learned uh, C already, you can use uh, format specifiers like percent %d, which is a number, or uh, it's just an integer in C. And these work the exact same way in Objective-C. So percent %d just stands for an integer, and then after our string, we make a comma, and then we can just put in the value. So let's put 6 in there. And if we go to build and run this, and then we go to our console, you can see my house number is 6. So already you're probably pretty familiar with how NSLog works. Um, it's, it works the exact same way as the C version of printf works. All you have to remember is that it uses the at symbol before you start um, anything or any string that you use in Objective C starts with the at symbol. So um, let's work with a few variables here and you'll notice variables work the same way. And this is for I think every language. Uh, let's say, we'll just say int num, let's call it house number, and we'll assign it a value of 6, and let's just substitute that in here. And as you can see, when we build and run this, the same thing will happen. My, my house number is 6. So, um, this is very, this should be very uh, familiar for anybody who's watched my previous tutorials on C. And, uh, it should, it's a very comfortable language to get used to, and also has some great advantages over C. You'll uh, soon get familiar with uh, what is known as an NS string, and that's the string that Objective-C uses. That's this string right here. And you'll have a much better time with that than the character arrays that you use in C. C character arrays are extremely complicated for um, beginners, and they are um, sometimes hard to learn. So uh, Objective-C takes all the hard work out of that and just makes it a nice string. And uh, when I say string, I mean Objective-C string. I don't mean the, the character arrays that you use in C. And if you've come from Java or some other languages as well, you should be very comfortable with using strings in your program. So uh, this is just my quick introduction to Objective-C and some of the quick functions that are in the default program. So anyway, tons more tutorials will be coming on Objective-C and a great load of stuff will be learnt. Anyway, if you have any questions on this tutorial, just please leave your questions in the comments or just shout me a message if you have um, more questions related. Anyway, uh, more tutorials are on the way. See you then.